Did you know that we can farm with the power of nature? And the best part is that regenerative agriculture practices can help revive soil health, support local ecosystems, and even combat climate change. In this video, we'll explore how regenerative agriculture can help balance our climate and secure our food and water supply. Farms can support nature, revive their soils, and get much higher income with fewer inputs. One key component of regenerative agriculture is the spongy soils. This type of soil can help revitalize the water cycle, leading to increased water availability for plants and animals alike. But the benefits of spongy soils go even further. As water evaporates from the soil, it helps to create clouds and regulate the climate. But how do we get there? Regenerative agriculture is the answer. There are seven elements of regenerative agriculture. The first element is to improve soil biology with high diversity, especially of soil fungi, by using soil activator composts. It's key to always include some cow dung, as well as incorporating seeds to strengthen germinating roots. Subsequently, use compost tea as a leaf spray and powdered charcoal to create microhabitats. The second element is to supplement missing macro and micronutrients in the soil with a leaf spray. Activated soils are thriving ecosystems, and mycorrhizal fungi can then supply all minerals, even from the depths. The third element is minimal disturbance of the soil. Here it's important to only grubber a few centimeters and phase out nitrate and ammonium fertilizers as they harm soil life. The fourth element is permanent soil cover and deep rooting, even in winter. Hedges and agroforestry protect the crops from wind and provide space for animals, birds, and insects. The fifth element is species rich cover crops or green manure. Never use mustard and avoid monocultures. Also through agroforestry, direct seeding on the day of harvest and maintain high productivity, which creates a lot of root mass, feeds the soil biology and the bank accounts of the farmers. The sixth element is to keep livestock in proportion to arable land. Use rotational grazing, grazing of green manure, grazing hedge and agroforestry. In winter climates, produce straw manure, ferment liquid manure with lactobacteria like EM and powdered charcoal. The seventh element is to include agroforestry, species-rich wood production with food trees and shrubs. The most ecological bioenergy is wood gas for electricity, heat and cooling, and charcoal production. The powdery part is for compost and manure and restores soils. These seven approaches work together. Implement all of them. Check soil conditions with a spade, probe, water absorption, and microscope. Observe nature and compare. Nutrient density is measured with the leaf sugar content. Bricks and vitamin C measurements shall be high and nitrate low. Regenerative agriculture requires huge amounts of CO2 that is needed for humus building. By implementing regenerative agriculture practices, we can work with nature to restore our soils, balance our climate, and secure our food and water supply. Let's secure our future by supporting this vital approach.